Hey Betty and Sam, this is Rick uh, with the Brown Home Group at Keller Williams. I'm standing in front of your property at 345 Silver Springs. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the outside here. Um, so when you come in, this is actually the main entrance. And as you can see, or one of the entrances, and then this is where your house is. So it's right off the main entrance. The houses are really nice. The one next door is really nice. Um, so definitely um, great neighbors, it looks like. Um, you got paver on the driveway. I actually had an issue with the alarm. So um, I didn't actually walk through the house. So we're gonna do this blindly. But you're looking at about 3,000 square feet. The outside of the house looks pretty good. There is some, uh, there is some greenery around the driveway, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna obviously I can pull the permit and get the uh, get the roof age and all that good stuff. You got pavers all the way walking up under under roof doorway, which is nice. Single door glass, and then you've got really nice tile with a, uh, sorry, my finger, with a foyer separate tile. And then walking in, you got this really nice um, formal living room, dining room combo with some pillars. And then right to the left, double doors. Looks like laminate floor. This is your master bath. Really pretty, uh, what is this? Can't tell if that's, I think that's wallpaper, actually. Nice tub, and then a really good sized shower with a door for the toilet. Um, you might wanna, you know, do some updating, simple updating, which would be make this door seamless, which would be really nice. Double vanity sinks. And then you go back in, you've got one closet here. Light doesn't work. And then a huge closet here, which I'm gonna assume is one of these. No, it's this one right here. There we go. Huge closet here, bunch of space. And then the bedroom itself. Wow, really, really good size. And then, uh, some detail on the ceiling. And then you've got a really nice sitting area back here. This house has actually been staged. So that would be your master bedroom downstairs. Let me go ahead and shut lights off as I go. So then you walk through the dining room area and then um, into the hall, and you have one bedroom here, which is kind of cool. It's got like a, a bunk bed, one bed, bunk bed with stairs to get up to it. It looks like this might've been a little girl's room. And then you walk down the hall, you've got a decent sized bathroom. Again, they really like wallpaper. And you have another bedroom here, which is um, got some pictures on the wall. It's like a green color. Your laundry room, really big size laundry room where your washer and dryer would go. And then um, place for a sink. Um, two car garage, decent sized garage, um, but it is two car. So then we're going to go back through and you got this, uh, ceramic tile. Tiles look like they're in really good shape. And now here's your kitchen with the cabinets. 
So the stove definitely looks like it's aged. Um, cabinets look like they're really in good shape. Um, they're not self-closing, but a really nice kitchen. Decent uh, fridge. And then you've got this like um, breakfast nook area. And this looks over your kitchen into your living room space. And then you come back here and you've got another full bathroom with a shower. And then another room, which would be a nice um, guest room, visitor. Could be a mother-in-law, because then you would have your own bathroom. Um, we'll go ahead and see the pool when we're done. But I'll go ahead and take you upstairs. So when we go upstairs, carpet's in really good shape. It's like a dark brown. Ooh. So when I hit the top of the stairs, I feel the heat. So I'm not sure if the AC is off. But this is a giant, uh, like, bonus room. As you can see, they just have a couch in it right now. Um, with a closet. So, and a full bathroom. So I need to count what we're looking at so far as number of rooms. Because if they count that as a room, uh, so let's, let's see. So that would be considered one. Two, three, four. So if they count that top one, five. This would be a five bedroom. If they don't count it, then it's a four bedroom. And then we're gonna go take a look at your pool. We're gonna try to take a look at your pool. Bear with me. So the hot tub that's back here is actually gonna be moved at the owner's expense. So they plan on taking that. The pool is actually um, smaller than the other house. It's actually in really good shape. Screened enclosure. Looks like it's in really good shape. You've got a nice little lanai area. This is what we call a lanai when it's under structure. And then this would be your screen enclosure. And then uh, let me just show you the distance that you have for your backyard. This is what I was telling you about what pretty much would be a negative based on what I saw. So your back area is over here. So you do have up to the trees to be able to do something. And then you can see what they've done is they actually built up this to the backyard but that would be pretty much all of your backyard however they can't build on it it does say conservation area do not disturb so there's no building on the back of your house it looks like it's got pebbles rocks around the back and that's always good for rain so for what it's worth um, Tile looks good out here. Driveway. Driveway. Cement, I mean. And then this would be the back area, which you can see your neighbors right there, but there is a bush kind of stopping the privacy. And I'm assuming you could probably put a fence. So we'll go back in and here from your kitchen you can see your um, from your kitchen nook, you can see into your kitchen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and you know, bear with me, guys. Sorry. There we go. So, living room, family room, formal, dining room. Knock down ceilings, which is nice. Ceiling fans pretty much in every room. Here is your kitchen. Well, it's really a pretty kitchen. I would say you probably would need to do some updating of the appliances. 
but the cabinets are gorgeous with the crown molding. So anyway, guys, that's it. Um, looking at the overall house, it's really nice. Um, square footage, like I said, it's a little under 3,000 square feet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know what you think. And we'll talk to you soon. I know it'll be one we add to the list, possibly, for when you guys come here on the 14th. So talk to you soon. Bye, guys.